Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another Phenomon 12 video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you this RS Noah Lights Array. Uh, I'm not sure if it's been done already, uh, but I just wanted to showcase it to you guys. Um, so yeah, check out my last video um, to find out kind of what an RS Noah Lights does. Uh, basically last um, yeah, last video I showed you um, this hang on. Um, this array. So just like that, there it's on, there it's off. Uh, which you can even simplify more by removing that block, putting that uh, button there. So turn it on, turn it off, just like that. You do need the redstone though. So yeah. Um, so that's kind of a way to uh, um, make that a bit smaller. Um, yeah, what I just wanted to show you is this pistonless RS Norledge, one wide RS Norledge array. Um, so yeah, this is it basically. Just hit this button, um, the bottom two things go on, redstone dust. Hit the bottom one and the bottom, um, the top one, uh, hit the top one, um, the top one goes on and this torch as well. Um, so for some trivia or some things you can use it in, uh, basically uh, you can hide it just by putting six blocks right there. Um, yeah, you can hide the torch like that and put it um, like that or something. I don't know. Um, but I guess it's um, yeah a little harder to spot the um, whether it's on or off, and you can see the buttons quite easily, quite as easily. Um, so there, redstone torch turns off, stays off. There, redstone torch goes on, stays on. Um, then your outputs. Uh, do not pick your output from uh, the side of this because this redstone wire needs to be uh, no. this redstone wire needs to be pointing uh, into this block which then yeah empowers um, hang on uh, yeah, this redstone just needs to be powering this block. Um, so when we power this button, the redstone, the redstone gets ignited and the redstone torch turns off. If the redstone torch turns off, it unpowers this block, which unpowers this redstone, which then powers um, this torch, actually, so that it's in the default on position, just like that. Um, and when we press the top one, this redstone light uh, ignites, causing this torch, torch to go off, causing this redstone to uh, go off as well. Um, so yeah, pretty easy. Uh, here's how to build it, just put it like that. Two redstone, one redstone torch, one redstone torch, another redstone. Um, so obviously, and two inputs of course, so obviously what you need is two redstone torches, three redstone and three uh, building blocks, redstone conducting blocks rather. Um, so you cannot use uh, something like glowstone just because of the fact that uh, glowstone does not carry um, yeah, uh, anyway, I redstone can like um, just by the simple fact that glowstone doesn't carry uh, redstone current, uh, so also when we power it with a repeater, the redstone wouldn't push through, um, as where a redstone conducting block, such as any stone, dirt, or anything else, will. Um, so yeah, there's your. Um, Yeah, you gotta take note of that. And also, what you wanna 
Um, what you want to think of when building this, uh, do not put a block over there. Because when we power it, uh, the redstone circuit will burn out. Just like that. Just keep this space free. You can put glowstone over it. Um, as I said, because it doesn't conduct redstone. Um, either air, glowstone, um, or glass. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. I thank you much. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, goodbye. Oh, uh, considering the um, in and outputs for no, only the output for this thing. Um, you can grab them with uh, by using this or anything. Um, yeah, just like that. Oh, yeah, clips to the button, of course. Um, so there's your output. Uh, you can also grab it from uh, this entire redstone wire. So yeah, it really doesn't matter from where as long as you don't grab it from here. Because then it'll... Um, it won't work anymore. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, bye.